Hey there YouTubers, it's another uh, opening day here. I got some more product in the mail. Uh, with this, I'll open it up, show you what I got, and then I'll explain to you on why I've got it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And what this is, is a uh, Boost DC-DC converter. Uh, it can take voltages between 10 and 60 volts and boost it up to 80 volts. Alright. Anywhere from 12 to 80 volts. Okay, and I got two of them. They're 600 watts a piece. I'll take one out of here and show you what it looks like. And they were uh, $28 a piece, so they're almost $30 a piece. They're only one in one box. Wrapped up pretty good. This is, of course, it's it's a Chinese-made product, but that's all right. It's got a static bag on it. It's nice and sealed up. I'll open up one for you guys to see it, because there ain't no need to open up more than one. All right, and here's what it is. That's what I've got right there. I'll get some pictures of it, and I'll also have it right here the pictures right beside it okay now that you guys have seen the pictures I'm going to tell you why I've got this alright this is a DC DC converter power supply step up module you know 10 volt 60 volt and I can step that up to 12 volt to 80 volt this is a 600 watt 10 amp output uh, maximum 15 amp input so I'm going to be the purpose of this is, you know the little sun grid ties I've got a thousand watt it's 2260 volts all right most of your solar panels like that I've got um, I've got two of them wired in series for charging my 24 volt bank when those two are in series open voltage is about 21 or 41 42 volts um, whereas my GTI it's 22 to 60 volts well it has an MPPT is what they say it, does, it has in there and when the sun comes up, the grid tie inverter helps pull that voltage down to its maximum, its, its operating efficiency. If you ever look on the back of a solar panel, you'll actually see on some of them MPP, you know, maximum power point, things like that. That's when there's a load drawn on that uh, solar panel, it's going to lower the voltage down, of course. And these inverters are supposed to take advantage of that and get the most power of the panels. Uh, I've got the sun grid ties. Uh, they're power inverters. They say they're 97% efficient. That's only true if you can find a combination of solar panels that would fit within the voltage range of those grid ties. Because even though it says 22 to 60 volts, if I'm putting 34 volts in, I've got 870 watts of solar panels hooked up to my 1000. I've never seen 870 watts out of them. I might be lucky to see 500. So they're about 60, anywhere between 60 and 70 percent efficient at that voltage. But now if you take and increase that voltage to 50, 55, all the way up to 60, you're going to get maximum power from the grid tie. So then of course your efficiency goes up. And this is with all inverters. Converting 12 volts to 120 volts, very inefficient. Converting 24 volts to 120 that's more efficient conversion wise than going from 12 so think about this the higher your voltage the greater the conversion factor is All right. so the grid ties with the current panel set up if I put three in series and the maximum of these uh, grid ties are 60 volts if it would be fine if a sun comes up and nobody never turned it off, never lost power or anything like that. But you ever lose power, you'll fry the capacitor inside of them. That depends on their capacitor. If they got 75 volt capacitors or something, just give you a margin of error, you'll be fine. But otherwise, anything over 60, you could actually fry your grid ties. Uh, and three of those panels in series, it could probably be about 65 volts open circuit. And that could be a potential 
damage your grid ties. So this is what we're doing, and that's why I've got these. All right, I've got two of these, they're both 600 watts a piece, and we're going to be testing these out. And I've got two for a total of 1,200 watts. I'm going to run my 800 watt, 870 watt solar panels in these. I'm going to have two of them side by side. I'm going to run them in parallel so I can get 1,200 watts. Run my panels in, and then my output is going to go to my grid tie. And on here it has current adjust and voltage adjust on here. So we're going to adjust the current as high as I can adjust the current, of course. And I'm going to increase the voltage as close to 60 volts as I can without going over. Um, I'll probably adjust it up to 55, just see what that does. Adjust it to 55 volts, maximum current output that it can be, and see what we get. I'm kind of hoping I can get, if I can get that voltage up high enough, hopefully I can pull that full 800 watts, 870 watts off my solar panels. So, you'll, you'll see some pictures of what I've got here, and I'll give you more information later on. Uh, you'll be able to see what I'm going to, I'm going to have to build me a board for this stuff to set on, because right now, it does have some holes in there that I can use to mount some straps to. So I'm going to mount them, and then I also want to put a cooling fan on them, because I know these things are probably going to get toasty. So, we're going to try to get this stuff hooked up, and I'll show you guys later um, on what we got going on. So just think about the uh, grid ties. I'm going to try to find a way to where I can get that voltage up high enough to get maximum power out of it. Until next time, I'll talk to you YouTuber guys later.